And if your skill set is strong enough, they're going to go, man, I need to work with you. So I just wanted to, to bring a little message here to you just for a minute, Daniel Hodges, and show you that when you're following up with people, John Ard, you can follow up with people and still remain the buyer versus the seller. Okay, and this is a very strong thing uh, that I teach our team is that you have to make up your mind that you have something of tremendous value. You've spent your whole life cultivating it, Amanda Beaner. It is something, Sue O'Connor, that you have that is really valuable. Now, if somebody else can't see it, doesn't want to move forward with it, the timing's not right with them, it's not a sign of rejection to you. So when I follow up with people, I am following up with them to bring them strategy, to bring them uh, exactly how I would move them from A to B. I call that a bridge. There's a direct bridge and between where they are and where they're trying to go. And if your skill set is strong enough, they're going to go, man, I need to work with you. I may have been sitting on the fence. I may have been thinking about it. I may have got distracted. So you don't follow up from a supplicated position like you're chasing, and I'm a seller that I'm trying to get rid of something, and I'm trying to get rid of something and give it to you for in exchange of a commission, I'm actually following up with you because I've developed a product, a service, a program, something that would be very valuable that would actually help you move toward your B. Now, I can't deliver the service, uh, Christopher Bradley, and to you until you take an action on it. So it's something of value. I've worked my whole life to create it. It will solve a problem for you or help you with your ambition. So really, man, I'm an aspirational partner of yours, okay? And, I, and you want to become a must-have versus a nice-to-have, right, Andre? You're a must-have versus a nice-to-have. And this comes back to how good your skill set is. So a lot of what I'm teaching people is strategy. Today I did a session with a lot of insurance people on finding your undercapitalized assets. Jay Hunter, we all have undercapitalized assets. Assets are things that add, but the asset has to be activated. So I did a whole session this afternoon with an insurance group on unlocking creativity that could produce millions of dollars. And I gave them some examples of when I was forced to be creative because something didn't work the way it was supposed to. Some deal fell apart, something happened. And it actually caused me to get more creative. So I just wanted to come to you this afternoon and tell you when you're following up with people, I wrote the book Million Dollar Follow-Up. I know how to follow up with people. I know how to help a person make a decision. There's seven things I say to help a person make a decision. But at the end of the day, all of this starts by you saying, I am a person of value. I create tremendous value in the market. This skill or product or service will help you move towards your goals. But man, I, can't, I cannot deliver it to it. Uh, until you make a decision and how much money is lost in indecision. Millions of dollars. Big time people are decisive. They're remarkably bold. They see something and they take action on it. They don't see it. So hope you're doing great. My name's Coach Burt. I believe everybody needs a coach. Uh, I hate that I couldn't bring you a morning drive this morning, but I made up for it with a little afternoon finish. Go back and watch this, especially if you're in the business of following up with people.